Hi, my name's Rob. Welcome to the latest video in this series to help you with your English and talk a little bit more about the Word on the Street episode that you've hopefully just seen. The latest episode was about Oxford and of course Oxford was the answer to the quiz question we set on Facebook. And the question was, uh, where is the oldest university in the UK? And that is Oxford, of course. So, uh, if you missed the episode, don't worry. Remember, you can watch uh, most of the clips on the Learn English website, and I'm going to post the links to those clips as well as some useful language uh, with this video. So you should find them uh, somewhere around this video. But as usual, I'm not going to talk about the, the theme of the episode or the topic of the episode. I'm going to give you three tips Three tips which I hope will help you with your English. The first tip is actually a phrase that Ashley used. And it's a phrase that she used in this episode, but I'm sure you will hear it in other episodes too. Stephen suggested that he drive to Oxford. And Ashley said, sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good is a positive response, a positive reply to a suggestion or an idea. So if somebody suggests, for example, going to the cinema, sounds good. Dinner at eight o'clock, sounds good. It's interesting because although we say sounds like it sounds, uh, actually people use it in written language too. So you can make a suggestion or give an idea by text message or by um, by email maybe, and the person can reply, sounds good. Note that you do not need to say, it sounds good. Uh, you might you might repeat uh, the suggestion, so dinner at eight sounds good, or, uh, I don't know, curry sounds good, pizza sounds good, but we don't usually say, it, it sounds good. So, sounds good, a really useful positive reply to a suggestion or an idea. Uh, two, just two things to note about that. Firstly, firstly, it's positive, but of course, always, the context is important and how you say something is important. That can easily become a bit more negative. Uh, sounds good. See what I mean? All right, and the second thing is that if you're showing something, maybe, I don't know, a picture, uh, maybe some new clothes, maybe a presentation. What do you say? You say it looks good. So it looks good. Uh, so it's a little bit different, the use of looks good and sounds good, but quite logical, really, I think. If you can see something, it looks good. The next tip is, is a really quick idea, uh, something I was thinking about. I was thinking about technology because you saw the uh, the GPS that Stephen and Ashley were using and I was thinking, I never use a GPS anymore. <laughs> I just use my phone, basically. And my phone is something I use quite a lot when I'm communicating in other languages. And I've started to do something which I don't think is cheating, but I change the text pad to the language I'm using, of course. And then when I do that, it can help me with spelling of words. And that's quite important in some languages where there's such a difference from English, for me, it makes it quite difficult. And also for things like accents, which I find uh, difficult to remember sometimes. So just changing the language on my phone uh, has helped me send messages which are perhaps a bit tidier and a bit more accurate. And you can do it on your laptop as well. If you use a, an email service like Gmail, change the language to English. If you're communicating in English, it will help you. It will make suggestions even of how to finish a sentence. The last tip is a word or two words actually that you can use instead of yes. And maybe you're aware of these words already. 
in the Oxford episode you just watched, Ashley, when Stephen asked if she was ready to go to Oxford, said, yep. Not yes, but yep. And yep is an alternative. Pretty common. Uh, people use it. But I would say people use yeah a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I use yeah more than I use yes. Uh, of course, all of them are fine. Yes, yeah, yep. Uh, yeah and yep seem a little bit more like natural language, maybe for more informal situations. And yes, maybe is something... It's, maybe it's a bit more formal. I don't know. But to be honest, I use all three. But I'm sure I use the word yeah the most. All right, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to check out the links which I've posted, which will uh, take you to the clips from the Word on the Street episode and some language activities for you to try. And uh, then don't forget to watch the next episode and come back to Facebook to watch my next video after that. I'll look forward to seeing you here then.